Hello and welcome to the tutorial on odd and even numbers. In this tutorial we're going to do numbers up to 2000. Now in the previous tutorials we went through the number line and we designated all the numbers from 0 to 9 and worked out whether they were odd or even. We're not going to do the number line because you should know that by now. What we are going to do is just to summarize we're going to write down all the even numbers on the left. Now which even number comes first? That's right, it is 0. And then we simply count in 2's. 2, 4, 6, 8. So these are all the even numbers. Right next to it we're going to write down all the odd numbers. The odd numbers begin with number 1, that's right. And we count in 2's from number 1. So we have 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. So those are our even and odd numbers. So let's work through a few examples. Now suppose we have this number 1387. I was just going to add that if you do not know the even and odd numbers as I've written them in green and red, go back a few tutorials and work through the number line and how we got these numbers. So we have number 100 and sorry 1387. Is this number odd or even? Well what we do is we completely ignore the first three digits. All we're focused on is the units. That is the same whenever we are trying to work out whether a number is odd or even. It depends on what it ends in. So this number ends with 7. Where is 7 on the, in the two columns on the left? Here it is. Therefore 7 is an odd number. And if 7 is an odd number, that means the whole number is odd. That's 1,300... Sorry, I'll repeat that. 1,387. So now let's look at our second example. We got 1,826. So what do you think about this one? Do you think it's odd or even? Well again, we're going to ignore the first three digits and we're just going to focus on the units. Now 6. Is 6 an odd number or an even number? Find it in the columns on the left. It is over here. 6 is an even number. And if 6 is an even number, then the whole number is even. 1,826 is an even number. Okay, we're going to carry on. Let's work through the next one. Now suppose we got 1,571. 1,571. Now is this number odd or even? Again, we're going to ignore the first three digits. We're just going to focus on the last one, the 1. Now, is 1 an odd number or an even? That's nice and easy. It is an odd number. Okay, we're going to work through a few more examples, and this time I want you to do them. Got 1,568. 1,568. I'm not going to work this out. I want you to do it. Is this odd or even? The last digit is an 8. There's the 8. This number is even. The whole number is even. 1,568 is even because the last digit, 8, is even. Now suppose we got this number. 1,903. Now you work through this. Have you got it? Great. Now let's work through it. The last digit is 3. Don't forget that's the units, the 3. Where does 3 appear in our chart? It's over here. So therefore, because the number 3 is odd, the whole number, 1903, is an odd number. Right. And lastly, We have 1,820. 
Now, is this an odd number or an even number? Have you done it? Great. Let's work through it. The last digit is 0. Let's have a look at our chart. 0 is over here. Therefore, because 0 is even, the whole number, 1,820, is an even number. And that is how we work out odd and even numbers with numbers up to 2,000.